we're now a good bit into Kamala Harris being the nominee. But remember, it wasn't that long ago that there was this big debate among Democrats. Would it actually be a good idea to get Joe Biden to step down and to replace him? It could be super risky. And obviously, we and many others were pushing for that to happen. And I have to say, it just it it's going so much better than even I hoped that it would. And I want to demonstrate that. So uh, we have two sets of polls. So this isn't just direct polls. These are changes in polls over time. The first is interesting. The second is fascinating. Here's the first. This is how polls have changed since the debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And so you can see in these individual states, there are two states where th or three states where things have relatively gone well for Donald Trump. And then there's others where things have shifted and nationally for Kamala Harris. So there's been a little bit of effects during the time since the debate. Whether the debate itself is what caused that or might be mitigating other effects is an open question. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. But the most fascinating thing is this, the change from when Biden was the nominee to now. And you take a look at this and who would have expected that it would move as much as you're seeing there? That is national polling moving by six points from a three point deficit overall for Biden to a three point um, you know, surplus, I guess, for Harris. And then in the individual states, she's gained eight points in Michigan, six in both Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and uh, that's Nevada as well, I think is it six. Yeah. North Carolina is at six, it's very, it's very small on my screen. So eight in Nevada, Jesus. Five in Georgia, four in Arizona. And look, we can't necessarily say that replacing Biden is the whole reason. Maybe, you know, the, the economy improving, the numbers crossing the border in, for immigration are way down. Maybe those sorts of things would have had some of the shift too. But that's have we seen a change like that? And remember, when Biden says, as he did on the view earlier this week, I think I still would have won. This is the sort of shift you'd need to win. I don't know how we would have conceivably gotten this with him still as the nominee. But just it is an amazing shift in just a couple of months. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this before in a presidential election at this late date. But what do you make of it? I mean, we haven't seen anything like replacing the candidate. Yeah. Period. Like yeah. that's why. And it is the question is what percentage of this is getting rid of Biden and what percentage of this is uh, because it's Kamala Harris? Right, uh, I think a lot of it is because it was Joe Biden, and some of it is because it's Kamala Harris. I, I think it's it's a combination of the two. People were excited about it. People are jazz. I've talked to folks who are like, "Oh, come on, it's all fake." They're bussing in people for hmm. uh, the rallies, and they're asking you to fly. It's like people still got to get on the buses. Also, like Trump goes anywhere in rural America. It's the only thing that's happening there. Again, it's like being a, the the Chargers and the Rams. Like you're in Los Angeles, there's a lot of stuff to compete for it, and you can't just like show up and it's, you know, everybody's going to drop what they're doing, but they still are going to support you. It's just not going to show. But I think um, when it comes down to it, like Donald Trump is the kind of person who um, he's just a known entity. He hasn't changed, and so much has changed on the Democratic side of it that there's going to be a swing, and and it's it's. It's exactly what they thought would happen. That probably when they decided to make the change, they knew that this kind of stuff would happen because they asked people um, mm -hmm. in in formal ways and clinical ways, and and the results uh, show themselves. They just have to keep the pedal to the metal um, if they want to widen these leads or or widen you know keep the trend going or um, yeah. or turn it into a lead as opposed to a bump. Yeah, and and while these all look great, obviously some of the swing states still are too close to call. You know, I mean, they're all basically close to within the margin of error. Some Trump is still up in, so I would love to see you know something like this again. And I don't know if that's possible at this point, but let's definitely push as much as we can uh, to get that. But anyway, overall, it's a combination of a number of different factors. Uh, I think that the Harris campaign strategy deserves at least some of the credit. The pick of walls, some of the policies they've rolled out. The debate performance, there's been a lot that's gone right. Not everything, um, but a lot that has. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?